Hi everyone, it's Ruth here, one of the um, Centre members for the Plenary Council. I'm here standing outside St Mary's Cathedral in, um, in Sydney and I've just walked out. Um, it's the evening, not walked out, <laughs> but I've stepped out um, from our ecumenical dinner where we're sharing a meal with um, our other Christian brothers and sisters um, in Sydney. And we've just heard these beautiful messages of support from other religious leaders from around the country, which really was a beautiful experience to know that people in other faith traditions, not just Christian, but other faith traditions are praying with us along this journey. And I really hope and pray that you are also coming along with this journey with us and checking things out praying for us we need your prayers please please pray for us um for me today has been a very interesting day and um i think it will become clearer um what the day has been like maybe um when you see the deliberative vote tomorrow um sometimes it can be really trying to trust the spirit has has a hand in this but other times you can sit there and say, this is amazing. This is the Holy Spirit in action. And what I am trying to approach this as, trying to understand is that I need to be open to conversion myself. And maybe what I came here hoping for is not gonna happen now, but it doesn't mean it won't happen in the future. Um, what I will what I will say today, we, um, we started the day with this beautiful prayer where we um, focused on water and our baptismal call beautiful um, liturgies have been prepared for us for every morning and they're taking us along this beautiful journey yesterday we had fire um, today we had water I'm very much looking forward to seeing what we have tomorrow um, and um, it's piecing together this larger picture of the canticle of creation um, as you sort of see if you've been watching um, that's what we are doing and that will culminate on Thursday when we are talking a little bit more about Laudato Sea and the environment and things like that. Today we had two topics um, or two parts of the motions document that we were looking at. We were looking at uh, part three and part four. I can't remember their exact titles. I'm really sorry, but part three was on missionary discipleship and part uh, four was on the dignity of men and women. And they... I went into the day expecting today to be the most difficult day, I suppose, um, and laying out my feelings and my thoughts and, and my prayers on these topics was, was a wonderful experience because I really do feel that the people on my table group who I'm really enjoying spending the time with and listening and being listened to, um, but I really do feel that they heard me and they may have had um, some sort of change of heart or an opening of their heart in some way to hear of my experience, just as I have also had the same experience listening to their stories that they have shared. Um, we, as I said, we ended with an ecumenical dinner. It's quite late now, um, so I'm, I'm heading back to the hotel so I can get some sleep so I'm ready for tomorrow. But um, each day we end the day with consultative votes. So the lay delegates and the, sorry, the non-canonical <laughs> people vote. So that's myself and um, people like Kathy Jenkins and Father Brian and Father Joe. And we then move from there on. Um, <laughs> we, sorry, I lost my train of thought, but we, we vote, uh, voted on that today and then tomorrow morning um, you can watch on the live stream um, to see the bishops um, count, I suppose. They do their deliberative vote after they've had a chance to pray and sleep on it and um, that will be announced tomorrow morning. So you'll be able to see the process that way if you follow along. Um, I am <laughs> probably a little bit tired, as you might be able to tell. I might be rambling a little bit. But I just, I want you to have this raw experience of what um, I'm feeling in this moment. And so that's why I haven't <laughs> prepared anything. So I do apologize if this is a little long and a little bit um, lengthy and rambling, but please continue to pray for all of us. Um, no matter whether I ramble or not, pray for all of us, um, all of the members, pray that the Holy Spirit is not only present, but recognized in the voices of other people for all of us and that um, when the final outcome outcomes and document of the plenary council is um, 
finalised, published, that we can all enter into it understanding the process that we've gone through of great prayer, listening, dialogue, discernment, and that it will help us move forward as a church. So thank you, and um, I'll check in with you later in the week.